Today's webinar will cover a brief overview of the Thor Hotel program, and we are delighted to feature Lowe's Hotels and Resorts. Ms. April Morena, Director of Consortia Sales, and Rebecca Sejus, Travel Industry Sales Manager with Lowe's Regency Hotel New York City, will be presenting on Lowe's Hotels and Resorts and including information on new brand initiatives and upcoming specials and promotions. A quick overview, we'll have um, the presentation of Lowe's and hotels and resorts and then a watch and win information and also contact info. Plus, when you watch this uh, presentation from May 5th through May 16th, 2014, you'll be entered into a drawing to win either a two-night stay in a deluxe accommodation at Lowe's Hotel uh, which includes a full American breakfast, or you will uh, another winner will receive a two-night stay in a deluxe accommodation at Lowe's Regency in New York. As a Thor uh, Travel Agency member, you receive the following benefits: um, access to over 31,000 hotels and re hotels, and receive some of the following benefits: complimentary breakfast, room upgrades, and Wi-Fi. Thor rates are discounted up to 30% off bar. And be sure to sign up for our complimentary award-winning publications. Uh, this is Thor Advantage, our monthly newsletter. And it has some great GDS tips and uh, travel agent question and answers. Um, and also be sure to sign up for our hotel notes to receive that weekly. Um, it features hotel specials, promotions such as travel contests, fan trips, new hotel openings, and extra commissions. And also, you can access everything through our website at www.thortravelservices.com. And April, um, I'm going to pass this over to you. Thank you for joining us with Lowe's Hotels and Resorts. We really do appreciate you taking the time out of your day to learn a little bit about Lowe's Hotels and Resorts. We are currently 19 hotels, and we are in a growth phase, so it's a very exciting time for the brand. All of our hotels, um, you may have seen recently, have a brand new logo and that refers to the room you need. And that really gives our guests the opportunity to have what we call a safe breakout. And basically that's a place within their comfort zone um, that provides excitement and the ability to stretch um, emotionally as well as physically in our guest rooms. Um, we all know that when you're traveling, there seems to be that travel you, whether you're on business or leisure, that our guests get, have the opportunity to become a different version of themselves. They're a little bit more freer, more open to do things that they can't or don't typically do in their everyday lives, whether that's explore a new destination or a new culinary delight that we offer at one of our restaurants. They get the opportunity to be that travel you where we at Lowe's Hotels and Resorts provide the room you need. We have had, as I mentioned earlier, a lot of growth and development, and we are currently 19 hotels and growing. Some of our newest acquisitions include the Lowe's Hollywood Hotel in Hollywood, California, set at the corner of Hollywood and Highland. We also have the recently acquired Lowe's Madison Hotel in Washington, D.C., as well as the Lowe's Boston Hotel. We've just opened our fourth hotel at Universal Orlando Resorts called Cabana Bay. And for those of you that are looking at the current slide, we have or will have the brand new Lowe's Chicago Hotel opening January 2015. Um, our biggest news this year and that refers to the slide down on your bottom right, that beautiful guest room shot, is the Lowe's Regency New York City, and we'll have Rebecca to chat about that with you in just a bit. We have several different resorts as well as our urban destinations. Our current resorts are at the Lowe's Dantazar in St. Pete Beach, Lowe's Miami Beach Hotel located in South Beach, Miami, Lowe's Coronado Bay Resort set on a private peninsula, in Coronado Island, San Diego, and then Los Santa Monica Beach. We also have incredible spas throughout the U.S. and Canada as a Hotel Vogue. One of our true partners is Exhale Spa, and you can will see Exhale Spas now at Los Atlanta, Hollywood, Miami Beach, and soon to come in Chicago. We've also partnered with Julian Farrell, a renowned New York celebrity hairstylist and spa at the Lowe's Regency. Of course, we also have phenomenal golf 
offers at Lowe's Ventana Canyon Resort in Tucson, Arizona. Not only are Lowe's hotels great for the business travelers, but we are very well known for family travel and continue to receive numerous awards from family magazines and travel magazines. Our Lowe's Loves Kids, Lowe's Loves Teens, and our Lowe's Loves Pets programs are among some of the most renowned and well sought after programs in the industry. To clarify in the pets program, we do allow pets at all Lowe's hotels and resorts. We do limit that to two pets per guest room. And fees start at $25 per stay and up, um, and that does vary by resort. Lowe's Annapolis Hotel, um, to kick things off, is located in Annapolis, Maryland. They have recently, as you may see here from the imagery, undergone a complete lobby renovation as well as a renovation of their restaurant west and all of their guest rooms, um, creating a much more vibrant scene in Annapolis. Moving on to Chicago, a beautiful recent new build. The hotel is only three years old. It is a beautiful um, mixed usage hotel with um, Exhale Spa, which is really one of the main features of the hotel as it is one of the, la it's the largest hotel spa in all of Atlanta. And it's set in Midtown Atlanta, which is a new and thriving area of Atlanta. So a lot of energy there. One of our newer hotels that I mentioned is the Lowe's Boston Hotel. It is set in the Back Bay area. For those of you who are familiar with the Boston Back Bay Hotel, this is the same hotel. Um, it has been renamed Lowe's Boston. If you're ever having challenges finding it, just check under chain code LZ. And a little fun fact about this hotel, aside from the beautiful renovation that you can see here in those bottom images, the hotel was the original police station in Boston. Lowe's Hotel Chicago, I mentioned this earlier, this hotel is, has actually reshaped the skyline of Chicago. It is a 52-story building. We topped off a couple of weeks ago, so we're very excited about that. It will offer Chicago a four-plus star hotel experience with very sleek, stylish, and contemporary settings throughout the hotel. It will be a 400-room hotel located just one block north of the Chicago River and two blocks east of North Michigan Avenue, so a great destination for business or leisure travelers. Los Coronado Bay Hotel sits on a private peninsula in Coronado Island. The hotel completed a $6 million renovation a year and a half ago. When guests enter the hotel, they now can look straight out onto San Diego Bay and the water. That beautiful wall of windows that you see there folds into the lobby on those great weather days so that the San Diego Bay breeze is blowing directly through the lobby. We've also done enhancements outside on the terrace with beautiful fire pits throughout, um, really creating a beautiful indoor-outdoor experience for the guests. Lowe's Dances are in St. Pete Beach, a great destination for your leisure travelers. This hotel actually boasts holding the most weddings per year. It is in the Guinness Book of World Records, and that is due to the romanticism and history of the hotel. Um, the hotel also has undergone a complete guest room and lobby renovation, offering guests a fresh new experience at the Don in St. Pete Beach. Lowe's Hollywood Hotel, but in Hollywood, California. The hotel is connected to the complex where the Academy Awards take place. You are within minutes and walking distance to Grimmins Chinese Theater as well as the Dolby Theater and, and the Walk of Fame with all of the stars. The hotel has recently completed a $26 million plus renovation with a hard renovation on all of the guest rooms as you can see in this image here as well as a brand new lobby. Lowe's Madison Hotel in Washington, D.C. is located at 15th and M, which is just four blocks walking distance from the White House. A great destination for your leisure travelers, as that means you are also within walking distance to the monuments, the mall, the Smithsonian, as well as the White House. Again, great for business travelers as well as your leisure travelers. The hotel underwent an extensive renovation before becoming a Lowe's. So we have a fresh, crisp new look, and the newest information to date is that Top Chef Network um, Chef Jose Andres will be opening a restaurant toward the end of the month of April at the Lowe's Washington, D.C. Hotel in the Madison. Lowe's Miami Beach Hotel, um, a little bit of sunshine here. 
the Los Miami Beach Hotel sits at 16th and Collins Avenue, putting it in perfect walking distance to both Ocean Drive and Lincoln Road. The hotel has 790 rooms and encompasses the tower, as well as the landmark St. Moritz Hotel. The newest features to the hotel are these beautiful cabanas that you see in your bottom right-hand corner. This was a $2 million project, creating the first ever multi-level cabanas. Not only do you have air conditioning, flat screen televisions, and so forth indoors, but you have a full deck outside. And then upstairs, as you can see, each cabana has their own area with a private fun deck. The hotel also opened Lore Restaurant with Chef Josh Capen just um, recently in December of 2012. Lowe's New Orleans Hotel. This is a hotel where everyone wants to stay because you are close enough to enjoy all of the action of the historic French Quarter, but walking distance so that when you return to your hotel, you will return to a quiet retreat. The hotel's Cafe Adelaide is one of the most lauded um, restaurants in all of New Orleans as the restaurant is operated by the Commander's Palace family of restaurants. Lowe's Philadelphia, set in downtown Philadelphia. You are walking distance to the market. The hotel has also undergone a complete renovation on all of the guest rooms as well as the lobby. Um, this hotel has been with us for about 12 years and is looking absolutely spectacular. It's, about, it's like having a new hotel. Not only is it a great hotel for your business and your leisure travelers, but they've just opened Bank and Bourbon, which offers Ameri classic American fare and a little fun twist on bourbon libation. I'm now going to turn it over to Rebecca for the Lowe's Regency. Good morning. Welcome to Lowe's Regency. We're perfectly located on Park Avenue at the corner of 61st Street in the heart of Manhattan. We recently Combining a classic and iconic New York address with a current and modern product, we, first and foremost, are focused on our guest comfort. The hotel is thoughtfully redesigned with today's traveler in mind featuring complimentary Wi-Fi throughout the hotel, a comfortable and inviting lobby lounge, and brand new spacious guest rooms, which feature soundproof windows, comfortable furnishings, and the latest in technology. Our restaurant partner, St. Ambrose, together with award-winning executive chef Dan Silverman, have created a culinary gem with the Regency Bar and Grill. While we are still home to our famed Tower Breakfast, our restaurant has quickly become the new place to see and be seen on Park Avenue. Julian Farrell Restore Salon and Spa is a 10,000 square foot oasis in Midtown Manhattan. From hair and nail services to massages, facials, and anti-aging treatments, the spa is focused on wellness and connecting the mind and body. Located on the second floor, it also features a spacious fitness center available to guests 24 hours a day. Thank you, and we look forward to wel welcoming your guests to their Manhattan home away from home. Thank you, Rebecca. Very, very exciting. I know everyone in the travel industry community has been waiting patiently, some not so patiently, for the reopening of the Lowe's Regency. So we are very happy to have our flagship hotel reopened at the corner of 61st and Park Avenue in New York City. Now, moving from East Coast to West Coast, we go to Lowe's Santa Monica Beach Hotel. The hotel 342 guest rooms, including 19 oceanfront suites, absolutely stunning resort overlooking the original Muscle Beach as well as the Santa Monica Pier and Ferris Wheel. The hotel continues to refresh and enhance their guest rooms. They do more of a rolling renovation, as we like to call it. Um, the newest and most important information on the hotel is that they have completed, as of last summer, a $6 million facade renovation, meaning that not only does the hotel have a beautiful, crisp new look from the outside, but when your guests are in their guest room, we've done away with the wrought iron on all the Juliet balconies so that they all have these beautiful glass balconies now so that your guests have unobstructed views out onto the pier and the, the ocean as well as Santa Monica Beach. Lowe's Vanderbilt Hotel set in Nashville. The hotel is just across the street from Vanderbilt University. As you can see from the images here, if you're familiar with Lowe's Vanderbilt Hotel, we have a brand new hotel to offer you. The hotel completed a multi-million dollar extensive hard renovation on all of their guest rooms as well as lobby and lobby lounge as of last year. Um, if you're looking at that top image, 
The lobby is now a bustling area of energy every single day. We have plug-in stations and charging stations throughout the lobby, um, creating a really busy environment so that when people return to their room, if they want to get some work done or log on and check emails or go onto the internet, they have this wonderful environment to do so right here on the lobby. And then, of course, we have that beautiful fireplace lounge as well and new guest rooms to offer our guests. One of my absolute favorites is Los Ventana Canyon Resort in Tucson. If you haven't had an opportunity to visit Tucson, I would highly suggest it. The hotel is nestled into the Catalina Mountains so that it blends seamlessly right into the mountain. The style of the hotel was designed by a student of Frank Lloyd Wright, giving it a very naturalistic feeling. The hotel was very much ahead of its time as it was named by Condé Nast to be one of the first ecologically conceived hotels in the United States. It is truly a gem amongst our collection. The hotel sits on two Tom Fazio design golf courses, our mountain course and our canyon course. I do want to draw your attention to the bottom left-hand picture, which is part of our mountain course. Um, the photograph you see there is the third most photographed hole in the United States. It is quite popular and one of the hardest tee-off points in, um, for our game. The hotel also boasts the Flying V restaurant offering guests table-side guacamole. Some hotels have a sommelier. We actually have a guacamole and they come around table-side making it a lot of fun to enjoy southwestern, southwestern cuisine in a casual environment with a little top-notch elegant food to go with that. So um, that is a little bit about Lowe's and Tonic Canyon Resort. And then going up to Montreal, we have the Lowe's Hotel Vogue. Located on Rue de la Montaigne, just across the street from Ogilvy Shops in a very high-end shopping district and close proximity to businesses as well, the hotel has also just undergone and completed as of last May a hard renovation on all of their guest rooms as well as lobby and brand new restaurant, Le Society Bistro. If you have clients heading to Montreal, this is a phenomenal destination. The hotel belongs to several luxury partners as well and offers services to match those. Um, truly a wonderful destination, walking distance to many of the beautiful sights and sounds of Montreal. Um, and I would definitely urge you to try it out. Great. Thank you. I appreciate thank your you. time, April and Rebecca. Um, if you listen to this webinar between uh, May 5th, 2014 and May 16th, 2014, you will automatically be entered to win a two-night stay in a deluxe accommodation at Lowe's Hotel. And they're also giving away a two-night stay in a deluxe accommodation at the Lowe's Regency, New York. Um, two names will be drawn on or around May 23rd, 2014. Be sure to watch these to be in the drawing. Um, and then as far as contact information, if you have any more questions, um, April is happy to answer your questions as well as Rebecca. And with that, thank you for your time.